the screen you're seeing right now is the Members Management Dashboard. If you're an administrator, this is likely the default dashboard that you'll see when you log on. If you don't see this and you are an administrator, you can access this dashboard by accessing the dashboard list. This is the icon in the top left of the screen. By selecting this, you will have a list of all of your available dashboards, and under the My Administration Dashboards, you will see the Members Management Dashboard. Go ahead and select this. This will bring you to this dashboard that you can see on my screen now. If you are not an administrator, you will have to request administration access from an existing administrator, or just follow along in this section. So once you are on this dashboard, you can see all of the available members on your platform by going to the Members tab of the Members Management Dashboard. Under the Members tab, you will see which platform you are currently on, and then three tabs, Invite and Grant Roles, Manage Requests, and Import Members. Under the Invite and Grant Roles, you'll have Members and Roles. Under the Members, you'll have the current members and their current status whether they are an administrator, member, or external. Administrator has the most rights, so an administrator can actually set the permissions of other users and control things across the platform. Members are a member of the platform and can access applications and communities, but they may be restricted by administrators. And external is best used for external workers such as contractors, and you can restrict their rights even further than members. To see more information about a current member, you can select the details icon next to the member's name, and you will see their name, location, email, current status, and there will be three tabs, roles, additional apps, and more options. Under roles, you will see the roles that are currently granted, additional apps, if they have any, that are connected with the 3D Experience platform, and some more options that uh, allow you to replace someone as administrator or enable app logs for DSO system support and set the user location. If you're looking at someone else as a user and you are an administrator, you can adjust their settings under the drop down arrow where their current status is, and you can change them either to member or external. Underneath members, you will see roles, and this will currently show which portion of the roles are currently utilized. So if all of the roles have been assigned to users, this will show 100%. To invite a new user, you can choose the invite members button, and a pop-up will appear where you can enter their email, uh, apply their user rights, select their default location, and Choose a language and send an invitation message along with your invitation. After you select next, you will be able to assign roles. If you currently do not have any more roles, you can go to the subscriptions tab and buy more roles here or contact us um, to purchase more roles as well. I will include that contact information down below. On the next tab, we have Manage Requests, where if someone has requested to be your platform and you haven't invited them, their request will appear here and you will be able to accept or deny the request. Import Members will allow you to invite a batch of members at once. So if you select this option, you can select a CSV file to upload. And to see the format, you can select the See Example button. This will download an example Excel file in which it will show you the format to enter your data and you can enter, uh, invite multiple members at once with this option. And you run through it just the same way as you would with a single user, but rather than an email entered here, you would use a CSV file. 